made this YouTube video to demonstrate one method that you can use at home to bandage a finger when you have a severe injury that's bleeding a lot. So here's a quick run through of my steps. I wash my wound really well, I put some Neosporin on, I put one or more of these really big band-aids on, I put the tube gauze on, and then I put some kind of first aid tape around it all to keep it kind of waterproof and then try and cover it with something even more waterproof when I need it, say when I'm washing my hands, for example. So my primary reason for making this video was to show people how to put this tube gauze on because it can be a little bit tricky, but I wanted to show you too um, my tube gauze, which is actually really, really old, and my box was running out, so I just found a replacement box on Amazon. Um, I really love this tube gauze stuff. It really protects my wound a lot. And once you know how to put it on, it's amazing. And I think everybody ought to have some in their medicine cabinet. So now I'll show you my steps and how I use the tube gauze. First, I clean the injured area well, and then I put one or sometimes several of these big band-aids on. These are the big band-aids that I use. I got them from Amazon, two boxes of 100 that I paid $5.67 for. I use them to cover the wound to keep it compressed. In this case, I kind of sliced a flap off the top, which I'm hoping is gonna reattach, and to keep it sterile, because the tube gauze, while great, isn't sterile. So you need the Band-Aid first with some Neosporin. So to start with, the first thing that I did was I cut a length of the tubing fabric six or seven inches long and start feeding it over the bent edge of what they call the finger applicator. So I'm trying to do this myself while I videotape and it's kind of hard, especially because my fingers hurt. But um, basically I slide the applicator over my finger and then I take the fabric and slide it down and I'm gonna to have to stop and use both hands, but then I'll pick up the video again. I actually forgot one important part, which is after I have fed it over the metal tube thing, the edge gets really frayed, and so what I've been doing is cutting off the really, really frayed part just so that there's like a clean edge at the end of it. So do that, and then I put my finger in and slide it down. So basically I slide the fabric down just enough so that I can hold onto it and then I pull the metal thing back, um, leaving the fabric in place. After I've slid the metal back, I try and leave a gap of about maybe half an inch between the edge of the metal and my fingertip for twisting purposes, because I'm gonna take the metal part in my right hand and I'm gonna twist it two times and then take the metal thing and shove it back over my finger again and it covers my fingertip. It's really cool. Okay, I started twisting it, but then it kind of came untwisted, but you get the idea. I twist it twice and then I just kind of shove my finger back into the metal thing. So this is what it looks like as I am shoving the second layer of fabric back down over my finger. Then what I've been doing, which is rather than having it go all the way down to the bottom of my finger, I pull the middle thing off right about here and I kind of leave that folded edge above my knuckle so that I can bend my finger easily. So this is what it looks like after I take the metal applicator off. And then the next or last step that I do is I just put a piece of kind of waterproof bandage tape around it. This is the tape that I've been using. It's three quarter inches wide. It stretches and breathes. It's waterproof and it sticks really well. I'm not including a link to this one because I didn't get it at Amazon. I think I got it at Walgreens. This is what the final result looks like. I actually ended up putting two pieces of tape on because one went kind of higher up to tape down the fold and then the second one went right along the bottom edge to keep the whole thing from coming off my finger. Um, and it's 
if I actually put another layer of tape up there, which I did the first couple days when it was still really bleeding a lot, it really keeps it pretty waterproof too. But then I discovered these really cool things at Amazon called finger cuts. This is a box of the kind that I ordered, and next I'm going to show you what they actually looked like when they came. Okay, these are the finger cuts that I got from Amazon. There are 36 in a package, and they come, this is an assorted package of small, medium, and larges, and I have them kind of arranged by size. Before I was using some of those disposable gloves, which were okay, but they're really thin and kept dripping. It looks like for me, the size medium and the finger cut will work. And you basically just put it on the tip of your finger and then roll it down. So that's what it looks like all covered up. These things are amazing. They work really well. I can wash dinner dishes, wash my face, do all sorts of things and keep my bandage completely dry. So it's taking me so long to make this video because of all the different little bits and pieces of it that my new surgery tape actually came in the mail. So that is a picture of the box and a picture of the instructions on the box. This 5 8 inch gauze tube is what I reordered to replace my size 1, which is a little bit smaller. Note that the metal applicator is included in the box. This is the 7 8 inch. The only difference with this one is it only comes in 10 yards, not 50 yards. The last size that somebody might use for fingers and toes would be this 1 inch size for large fingers and toes. I actually ordered these for next time I slice the tip off of my finger. These are intended to be IV dressings, but I saw a doctor who made a video on how he was using these in a unique manner to cover severe fingertip wounds and it was really awesome. So I will include a link down in the description. I kinda got carried away and ordered these gel protector thingies too. But I think I got the wrong ones or ordered the wrong ones. I think this is the one that I should have ordered. They're expensive, but also get great reviews.